New here at 6 o'clock as we celebrate Black History Month, we meet an artist who finds a way to turn mundane items mm -hmm. into thoughtful creations. And she's using her canvas to reflect on one of the great debates of our time, as WBZ's Paul Burton shows us. This is on canvas. Give Janetta Tinker a canvas to create, and you never know where it will take you. This is my haven. It's my passion. I think I was put on this earth to be an artist. Her studio is her home in Dorchester. She discovered her talent when she was in the third grade and describes herself as a mixed medium artist. This is uh, from um, probably that netting that goes around fruit. Using all types of textures and materials, her artwork will take you places all over the world. Her latest exhibit is called Pray to Find Refuge at Spoke Art Inc. on Summer Street in South Boston. Her work focuses on immigration and migration issues. Migration started with our ancient ancestors. You can't talk about um, immigration without talking about forced immigrations with the Africans um, going on slave ships in Middle Passage to the United States. And Janetta's work, you know, is speaks the truth, and she doesn't ignore that. Owner Mike Dowling says people can view and purchase her pieces at Spoke Art Inc. by appointment only. I want people to walk away seeing themselves more clearly. Art becomes a threshold, I think, where people begin to awaken. A lot of her work is three-dimensional and tell an important story. They kind of represent ancestors who were brought into slavery, and this is the kind of like the generation mm -hmm. after generation after generation. Janetta says she wants her artwork to spark conversations. She knows people will have different interpretations of what she's created, and that's exactly what she's aiming for. I can't tell you exactly what you should see. You know, you have to decide on yourself what you choose to see. And while she says she does not have the answers to the immigration problems taking place today, she hopes her artwork will make people think about what's going on. Too many people are suffering, too many are dying. They're going on these perilous journeys to try to get here for a better life. And I put myself in their shoes and say, what would I do? If I was under the same circumstances, and would I go on that perilous journey? I would think so, because when there's no hope, there's no fear. And when you don't have any hope, what else do you have to look forward to? You can see her exhibit on display until March in Boston. I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. Art at its best reflects our time and what people are thinking and debating about and beautiful work. And to see how much the artist throws herself into mm. her work, I think it's so inspiring.